Hello, welcome back to Better Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to use point rotate of geometry nodes and also maybe how to export it and remesh something like this. You can see it's actually uh, the instance is rotating with geometry nodes, but it's also keeping the axis. So it's, that's actually really quite special. So let's get started. This is uh, the latest episode, uh, the latest update of Blender 2.92 from 11th of January 2021 so if you start with something like a like a torus and you switch to geometry nodes and create new the modifier will be applied into this object and let's do a quick point distribute you can see there's rotate points now And we can also use point instance like normally. For the instance, I will use geometry, uh, just a basic cube. And let's plug this in. Just gonna use random geometry plugin all the way. And for the objects, we're gonna use the cube, increase the density. Now you can see the torus and the, the instance of the cube on the torus. And what's special here is, of course, here the rotate points. We have a couple of options Euler. We can rotate this in the x, y, and the z axis. Okay, so that's uh, already pretty cool. You can also use the axis angle. So you provide the axis, by default it's uh, rotating in the Z axis. So you can do that, absolutely. And let's rotate this in the X axis. Just give it one, zero, zero, rotate it. You can use something like this. This is, this is a drivers, Python drivers. Give it a frame number, it's gonna go really fast. Multiply this with a number. So now it's rotating slowly. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what I want to show you. But I want to also show you that you can export it as Alembic um, in a bit. So in order to make this more interesting, you can attribute randomize this guy before hand. So if we use vector, by default it's totally random. But it's still rotating on the same axis, so which is pretty cool. You you actually want this. So this is actually following the parents object. You can switch to point, which is now it's gonna rotate on its own local axis that we already randomized here. So there there the difference. I I like it to be on the object so it's following the parents so let's save this very quickly point rotate and because this is a a torus we can actually apply something like wave beforehand so now this guy can animate so that's all pretty cool how about if we want to remesh it, if you want to remesh, it's gonna disappear, or it's, it's just gonna do nothing because we need to bake it beforehand. So the way I do it: file, export, alumic, turn off use instancing, and just visible objects, and just export. If we go file, import, alumic. You can see we have our objects that's pretty much fake. Okay, we don't need the little cube. And this guy is actually a real geometry that's already baked. Now that we have this guy, if we go under spread chop object in 
we can grab the selection we can apply matrix to every object or actually the easiest way is to just use mesh viewer and then merge it so now if we take a look we have alpha objects we have this those objects that I need to hide with these alpha objects we can actually remesh our creations let me very quickly use a matrix math and move this to the side oops in pause so you can see the difference Okay, so this is the quick trick of using geometry nodes and with the help of Sphertop, you can join them together and then get a new mesh and then you can remesh it. So I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty much what I want to show you today. But the point is that this guy, this, to this torus with geometry nodes, you can totally control the ro rotation of every object. So in that case, maybe at some point we can really customize the rotation of each instance, maybe to follow the normal. Currently, I don't think we have ways to do that. Um, maybe in the near future, we can, we can look at the geometry parents and then look at the normal and then distribute the points based on the normal of the surface the surface number of the, the parents and then use that for now it's uh, pretty much random I guess um, so yeah so that's what's going on there seems to be like an extra objects I don't know why it could be a bug it could be a bug but uh, anyway you can kind of bake it and get uh, this result alright so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye